I'd say be prepared to be broke and uh, hungry for a long time. I'd say stick to your guns creatively. I'd say identify those artists who you admire, painters or filmmakers or musicians, whoever they are, and then go meet them and listen to them and see what they have to say. You know, nobody gets to be a serious artist without going through a process. And for many artists, that process is pretty tough. Very, it's very rare in my experience that artists aren't generous with other younger artists on the way. They are generous and, uh, across the board. And if you're a young person, take advantage of that generosity. Our first rule is smarter is better. You know, if you know Shakespeare, it makes it much easier to talk about creative act structure in a movie. You get in a meeting with somebody and you say, oh yeah, I get it, that's like Macbeth. Well, if you've never read Macbeth, you don't know what they're talking about. Big disadvantage, so vocabulary is important. All the arts bleed into each other. They're all inexorably related. There's very little, it's one of the cool things about it, very little separation between film and music, painting, and novels, and theater, dance, very little separation. In many areas, they all overlap all the time. So I urge people always to try to have as broad an understanding as they possibly can across a, the pantheon of the arts. On top of that, it's a whole lot more fun if you understand a few things. You know, I was just reading Crystal Zivon's book about Warren um, called I'll Sleep When I'm Dead. Uh, and it's a difficult, interesting book. But one of the things that is funny about it is Warren Zevon predicated his entire um, oeuvre on uh, an articulated kind of writing. And Warren Zevon was a hugely literate man. Whenever he was on tour, the first thing he did was go to a bookstore. You know? So you see that overlap all the time.